artists, welcome back. I'm so excited outside. It's turning a little cooler and the weather is changing and even the leaves are starting to change. And I thought we'd have a little fun with the leaves. My son went and found me some big leaves, some medium sized leaves and some smaller leaves. You're going to need for today's project, you're going to need some different size leaves of whatever you can find. You're going to need some crayons. You're going to need, if you have them, some watercolors and a brush, and of course some water. And I'd like for you to get several different pieces of paper so that you can try different things. I um, have a little bit of a thicker paper so that I can paint on mine, but if all you have is copy paper, that will work. And actually for the texture rubbing part, the thinner paper works better. Again, I just have the thick paper because I like to paint on it, thicker paper. So go ahead, gather all those things together, and I'm going to show you step by step what to do to make your own texture ribbons. I have all of my supplies ready. I'm going to get started with this leaf right here. You can see both. I could use either side. I've also chosen a crayon color that I think would work, and I'm going to take this leaf put it under my paper One, it can hang out if you want it to you would just rub the part that's um, under your paper but instead this time since I'm just starting this is my first one I'm gonna fit it right up under here and I can feel it under the paper with my hand I'm gonna hold it down with my extra hand and I'm going to use my crayon to rub over the paper so that I can get a um, a rubbing of the texture that's under it. This is kind of hard on crayons so you might not want to use your new crayons but you can see that as I rub it you can see the shape of the leaf show up. I'm being very careful to hold it still. My leaf is kind of big, so I've got to hold it still so it doesn't move under there. There we go. I have my first leaf. I can fill the whole paper up with leaves. Like I said, I could use different colors. I can have it hanging off so that I can fill it in. But I'm not done. There's a lot of possibilities with this. Again, I want you to be creative and create your own. You can overlap your colors. You can overlap your leaves. Try different things. See what works, what looks the best. And then only upload one picture to Artsonia that is your favorite. One of your pieces that you like the most, only upload one to Artsonia for this project. and you can fill it all in. Now another thing that you can do, remember I said I had lots of paper because I'm going to try different things. Another thing that I can do is I can take my leaf still, paper on top, and instead of using a color, I can use white and I can rub with the white crayon. And you might ask, well, why are you doing that? Because you can't see it. You're going to see why in just a minute. I have my rubbing. I've got my paper towel in case I need it because I'm painting. I've got my water and my paints ready. I'm going to take my water, choose a color. I think I'm going to choose orange. When you're using watercolors, if you want to use several colors, you can just drop a drop of water. I'm going to use the warm colors. I'm going to start with orange and the more you rub the paint cake, the more you rub this watercolor cake, the more color you get. So I want a good orange, so I'm rubbing a little bit. And now I'm going to paint right over top. This is called a watercolor resist because the crayon resists the watercolor. 
And I don't want to rub too much or paint too much over this because the crown would eventually come up. I'm going to add a little yellow over here. Just wanted to blend my colors. I'm mixing my yellow and my orange. Oh, I should be more careful. But as you can see, it's really, really cool. It might be a little glare. You might not be able to see as well. Can you see it now? <laughs> you see my leaf in there. And if with a watercolor resist, sometimes the um, crayon resists that watercolor and the there's little puddles. If that happens, you can always just dab it up with your paper towel gently. And when I do that, it should take that little bit of that glare off so that you can see my leaf better. Isn't that pretty neat? So what I would like for you to do is I would like for you to experiment with your rubbing, rubbing your leaves to get that texture on your paper. And then if you can, if you have time, I'd like for you to experiment also with the watercolors over top of the crayon rubbings. And then the crayon will resist the watercolor. And again, we call that a watercolor resist and it resists. So then you can see your outline. You can do it with a white crayon. You can try it with different colors. Experiment. See what looks the best. I want you to try your best to create something really unique and different. And I can't wait to see your artwork on Artsonia. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead. I've got another rubbing right here. I'm going to go ahead. I did it with white crayons. I'm going to experiment a little bit more with my paints and see what happens.